Very frequently on the test, you get a question about usage of formulas in Excel. And sometimes you get a questions on how to display data in the status bar. For example, let's look at the question, how to display minimum, maximum, count and average in Excel status bar. You are presented with the data set of the student grades, which displays student names and their grades in physics, math, chemistry and biology. Do you know how to add auto calculations for their grades in the status bar? Give yourself a little bit of time to see if you can come up with the solution. Ready or not, I am going to move forward and share the answer with you. To accomplish this task, as you might have guessed, all properties related to the status bar can be enabled by right mouse clicking on the status bar itself. This presents us with the formulas for average count, numerical count, minimum, maximum, and sum. In our case, we need to select average, count, minimum, and maximum, and you will see that all these values now show on the status bar. Do you have an alternative way to solve it? Please make sure to post it in comments. A lot of times you might be presented with the question that tests your knowledge of Microsoft Excel user interface. Let's look at the sample question from the recent test. How to move the data set three cells down and one cell to the left in Microsoft Excel efficiently? You are presented with the data set of the student names. It contains names of the students as well as their grades in physics, math, chemistry and biology. Do you know the answer? Give yourself a little bit of time to see if you can come up with the solution. Ready or not, I am going to move forward and reveal the final answer to you. Obviously, there are multiple ways to move the data in Excel. One of the easiest ways is to select the data set and then in the Home tab use the Cut function. Identify the new location by putting the cursor in the upper right corner of the new location and pasting the data in the new location. But the question is, is this way the most efficient way, as the question asks? Let me undo this operation by using the undo button, and I'll show you another way which might be more efficient. I'm going to use the escape button on the keyboard to unselect the range, select it again, and the trick here is when you move the cursor to the end of the range, you are able to drag and drop the range. I'm going to drag and drop it three cells down and one cell to the right and position it in the new location. Do you know any other solutions? Please make sure to share them in comments. A lot of times you might get a question on how to sort data in Excel from smallest to largest. For example, you might be presented with the data set which shows student names and their grades on different subjects. Here on the screen we see the grades in physics, math, chemistry and biology. And we need to sort this data set based on the student names. To accomplish this task we need to select the data set and in the Home tab navigate to Sort and Filter and select Sort A to Z. This will rearrange the data in the alphabetical order based on the student name. An alternative solution might be to use custom sort. To use custom sort, you need to select the data, navigate to the Home tab, and then select Sort and Filter and then Custom Sort. Here you are presented with the screen where you need to select the column by which you are going to be sorting, and then select the order. In my case, I am going to select the column as math grade and then in the order, I am going to select smallest to largest. Once I clicked OK, you see that the data set was rearranged from smallest to largest based on the values in the math column. Let's recap. To sort the data in Excel, you need to either use sort smallest to largest or custom sort functions. Hopefully you've nailed this question and now know how to answer similar problems on the test. Here's the very interesting problem where you need to determine the value using index and match Excel formulas. Specifically, you need to determine the math grade for Prisha Patel. 
you are presented with the range of values, which include student name, physics, math, chemistry and biology grades. And you need to enter the formula to calculate the value. Do you see the solution? Do you know how to solve it? Let's move forward and solve this challenge together. We can solve this challenge in two steps. In step one, we need to use the match formula to identify the ID for the row with Prisha's name. First, we need to select what we are looking for. In this case, we can either type the full name for Prisha, or we can use asterisks and just type the first name. Second value for the match formula is the range. We need to select the range from A2 to A11. And third value, we need to specify what type of match. In our case, we will be doing exact match where we need to select the value of 0. Once completed, formula returns value of 6, which represents ID for the row where Prisha's name is located. Once we've identified the row, we need to find the second column in this row to return the math grade for Prisha. To do this, we start typing the formula, select the range B2 to E11 to identify all the grades, then enter the match formula to help identify the row where Prisha's information is located. And then we enter the column ID. And looks like I mistyped the formula and entered extra apostrophe. Once I remove this extra apostrophe and hit enter, the correct value is returned, which is the math grade for Prisha. The final formula looks like this. Hopefully you've nailed this question and now know how to answer similar problems on the test. Here is an interesting question you frequently see on the test. You are presented with a set of data and you need to add serial number column to this data using Excel formula. In our case, we are presented with student grades information. And for each student, we need to add a serial number. Do you know how to do it? Give yourself a little bit of time to see if you can complete the steps in the simulator. And I am going to move forward and reveal the solution for you. The first step here is to add a new column. Assuming that we will be adding the data to the left of the first column, the easiest way to add a new column is to do a right mouse click, click insert, and this action adds a new column. We will give new column a name serial number and extend the column so we can see the data. The first number in the series, in my case, will be 1, but you can use pretty much any number. In the next row, we will add a formula and our formula will be very simple. We will add the value of the first serial number, plus 1, or you can use any different formula depending on your business circumstances. Once you hit enter, you see that the second value is 2. And now I can expand this formula for the entire data set and you will see that the numbers are increasing. Keep in mind that this number might be different from the actual row ID. And if you use different formula, the number will be different for sure. And then the last step here is to apply formatting to the column. To do this, we need to select the column, navigate to the Home tab, select Format Painter, and then apply it to the newly created column. 